All right, hey everybody, this is Chad Jordan from Sport Clips. This is another edition of our Hall of Fame podcast. And I am here in, I was gonna say one of my favorite states, but I just, I'm here in my favorite state. This is uh, North Carolina, and um, sitting down with a special guest today. I'm actually here doing some uh, store visits uh, as part of this Eric Jones victory lap that he's gonna be taking for winning the Southern 500. So we're visiting a bunch of stores uh, tomorrow, but we squeezed in some special trips to visit some special people today, and uh, so that's why I'm here. And I, I, I really am hoping everyone appreciates the story they're going to hear today because I think it's a great success story about how to come to Sport Clips and crush it, absolutely crush it. So uh, without further ado, could I have my wonderful host? You're my hostess, I guess, today. You're like, yeah. We're in your lovely equipment room with the, uh, what do we call this thing? The victory board? The victory board. Behind us. Uh, could you do, do me a favor, introduce um, who you are, uh, what store number this is, tell me a little bit about your team, what makes you guys special? Okay, I am Rosalie Powell, and I'm at NC201 in Asheville, North Carolina, and uh, let's see, my team is amazing. I've got 11 stylists. The assistant just, manager, what's her name again? Kristen. I have Kristen, Kristen. Renee. Okay. are my two assistants. Oh, okay. Two assistants, two assistants, ladies and gentlemen. She's two got assistants. two assistants. I have okay. two assistants and a technical skills specialist. Oh, so, my gosh. Who is Amber. And I have 11 stylists, and they all are just awesome. They all work hard. They all have the same visions I do. And they're just they're rock stars. You, um... I think I was in your store about 30 seconds before you started bragging about your uh, weekly sales record that yeah. you guys just said. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about where you are as a, as a, as a store, um, you know, the sales records over here over my shoulder hanging, you know, prominently displayed on your victory <laughs> board. But tell me a little bit about where you guys are and kind of the life cycle of your store. So our store has been here six years in November. Okay. So we're still, I say that's new to the game. I mean, we're still, yeah. we're still fresh to the game. Yep. So a 26 year old yeah, brand. So, yeah, six, so years, six years yeah. is nothing, right? right. <laughs> so right. we, um, I was here when this store first opened its doors wow. and okay. I saw it when it had no sheetrock up, like mm -hmm. watched it get built from the ground up basically. Um, and we just, we started out really slow. We're in a good area. It's a very touristy area yeah. right here. We're right across the street from a Hilton. So that, you know, it's hard to get our retention rates up, but we just, we started out probably doing 5,000 a week when we first opened. Yeah. I mean, we started out six strong. Six years ago. Yeah, yeah that's good. Ago, that's strong. Yep. Um, and then I actually was here for three years and then I took a short break. And I came back, and when I came back, they were doing about 7000 a week. Mm -hmm. And so then I just said, all right. You came back as a stylist? I came or? back as a manager. Okay. Mm -hmm. Had yep. you been managing at all before? I did manage okay. when I, before, yep, when I left. But you didn't open this store as a manager? I did not. I opened it as a stylist. So had you come, had you worked at other chains or any, anything else before the first time that you came here? Yeah, so I worked at a, one chain, and then I actually owned my own salon Whoa. for five okay. years. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you're talking women's hair, yep. you know, full color. Color, hair, yeah. all that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I've always had the desire to just do men's hair because mm -hmm. it's easier, it's more comfortable, more you're profitable. More profitable. Yeah, you're uh -huh. not standing in one spot for three hours yeah. working with one person. Yes. Um, God forbid you don't get along with that one exactly. person. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Or the conversation's going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I did that for five years, um, owning my own business. So I learned. Mm. Oh time. man, no kidding. I was very young. I was 20 when that business fell into my lap. Wow. Um, so I learned. A ton about partnerships. What did you did you take over for somebody I did else? Take over, okay. yep. So it was when the economy crashed in two thousand eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So um, the lady that I went to the salon, she was like, "Okay, well, I my husband's been out of work, so we have to move to Texas, and I'm going to close the doors, or you can buy it." And, and oh, like, and so had what you had been running a chair or I something had been from her? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. And so she was like, "You can buy it, or I'm going to close it." And I said, "Well, I just got here." Mm -hmm. I don't want to leave now. <laughs> yeah. So you start to build up clientele. Start to build up clientele and all yeah. that. So me and one of the girls in the salon decided we'd go in as a partnership, mm -hmm. which was fun. <laughs> we learned a lot that way. You say fun. It was. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm noticing a little sarcasm there. So it was good experience. Okay. Good learning experience. All right. So great. So so because this is this is this is wonderful, because I bet we have some people listening out mm -hmm. there right now. It, you know, maybe they've been doing men's hair and that's all they've been doing and they've been thinking, I need to spread my wings. Yeah. I need to go out and own my... So, uh, and I'm not trying to persuade anybody. You right. know, everybody's right. going to follow. I opened my own restaurant yeah. at some point <laughs> against the advice of a lot of people. But notice I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah. 
So what are some of the what are some of the challenges that you faced, but maybe that you didn't anticipate uh, as a twenty year old right. when you were owning your own salon? What are some of the things no one told you about that you might as well give everybody a heads up? If you're gonna ever go this direction, be ready for I don't know, fill in the blank. To be broke. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I love what they say. It's like. Um, uh, how do you make a small fortune in the salon business? Yeah, it's, you uh, it, no, it's you take a large fortune mm -hmm. and you open a salon. Yeah, right. Exactly. You know, and then yeah. it dwindles down to <laughs> a small fortune. Down to a small fortune. So, okay, exactly. so all right, so for, so you you're gonna be putting out a lot of money. Yeah. All right, what what else? What um, are some of the other lessons that you learned? So it's definitely a challenge trying to because you can't manage the people that you're, are in your building, so they're renting from you. So uh -huh. it's their own thing. They can do whatever they want. They can charge whatever they want. They can do their own thing. They can take vacation whenever they want, and you have no control over that. So yeah. it makes it hard to plan a business day mm -hmm. when you have no control over a schedule or over what your your stylist is doing because they're not really your stylist. They're just renting a chair. God from forbid you. you're a type A personality right. that likes order and structure yeah. and detail you're not oriented. Get it in that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely not going to get it in that. Yeah. So we um, did that for five years, and then I decided that that was too much and. Was it was it really? I mean, I, I'm telling you, I got out of the restaurant business because I couldn't afford it. Yeah. Like that was literally yeah. it was it was costing me everything and the time that I was. I had three small kids mm -hmm. and so I just wasn't seeing them. I was in the restaurant twelve hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah. What was it that eventually got you to say, you know what, this isn't going to be viable anymore for me? It was it was definitely a financial yeah. situation. Yeah. yeah. You definitely look at okay, I'm paying this much out for rent and water and insurance and all those things. It, but it also gives you an appreciation for things. I was going to say, I was yeah. going to say, the other, I, that's exactly right. I wasn't trying to set you off, but I, I know some of the team leaders out there are like nodding their head yeah. or if they're watching, yeah. hi, if you're watching us on YouTube, they're going, yep, that's the yeah. point right there. Yeah. It's like they, they've taken this risk, mm -hmm. right? And it's all on the line for them. Yeah. Whereas, uh, you know, stylists, they, they have their license. They mm -hmm. can, like, you could go pivot and right. you did pivot yeah. and go to different places mm -hmm. and, and you know, apply your trade essentially, yeah. but there is that skin in the game that yeah, a team leader sure. has, and that you know, I, I just want to give team leaders a shout out right Absolutely. now because of everything that they've done, the the risks that they've been willing to take. You've been there as an mm -hmm. owner yourself of of the salon, knowing you gotta you gotta pay rent, and you know whether you have an employ employees or not. Um, there's all these sorts of things, these costs that are unexpected. Something yes. breaks in the building, you yes. gotta fix it or. Uh, all Nobody that kind comes of stuff. To your rescue. <laughs> exactly. You are. You you're are on, on your own. You're on your own. Now, fortunately, with Sport Clips, obviously, you're part of a brand. Right. You're, you, there's a process. There's mm -hmm. a system. There are people to at least call, exactly. guide you, mm -hmm. and hopefully set you, uh, you know, on a path to success. But so you, you've seen, the, you've seen the other side, mm -hmm. and without me putting words in your mouth, I think you were going here. Uh, it gave you a better appreciation Absolutely. when you came to Sport yeah. Clips for to understand what they're putting up with, especially as the store opened, you know, mm -hmm. there were things that maybe we thought we needed, but they weren't that critical. Need. Yeah. yeah, they weren't yeah. critical and it was, okay, well we're paying, you know, we just opened the store, we're not making any money. It's, yeah. you know, we're putting all these free coupons out to get people in the door. And so to be able to talk other employees down from, oh, well we need this right now. Well, we really don't, yeah. you know, it can wait and here's why, you know, and they're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Because a lot of people don't look at it from that perspective. Mm -hmm of a team lead and how much they're investing into us as stylists yeah. even. Yeah. What, um, so you've been back here how, how many years now? Three, you said three? One year. One year. Okay. One year. So one year. So we're resetting the timeline. Yep. So you, you came back. Um, what have you, know, what have you seen before? Uh, what has changed in the last year now that you're back? Because you saw Sport Clips mm -hmm. five, six years ago. Yep. Um, what are you noticing now that uh, has been a big change? The promotional things, like okay. TV and mm -hmm. the marketing side of it, really. You're not just saying that because the marketing I'm really not. guys in the room. <laughs> I'm really not. I, and I'm not baiting you. Like We, yeah. literally, we literally have not talked about not that talked part about at all. all yeah. Oh, yeah. So, but we see it on TV more and coupons more. And now that I have a staff, you know, when I came back to the store, there was three of us. Wow. So to grow it from... Three people to eleven. 11 yeah, yeah With, I mean, you're three people now. You have two assistant managers and TSS, but so you have just that yeah. in the three people. Right, so exactly. let alone so three people. We weren't able to. I wanted to grow and do, and you know, I have all these visions of what this store can be and do. Mm -hmm. And it was hard in the beginning because the first two months I had no staff. Right, and so. 
We so couldn't do anything. What did you do? How, how did you get from I three to yeah? I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I worked a I'm lot. sure you did. Um, There's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. How, how, did, how? Okay. So how did you? How did you survive? That you, when you came back. And I don't know, maybe in your mind you thought, I'm gonna come back and uh, there's gonna be rainbows and unicorns and everything's gonna be fine. Yeah. And you're, oh my gosh, now oh my I'm, gosh. I'm, yeah, I'm working my, my nails to the bones mm -hmm. and all this kind of stuff. So fingers to the bone. How, how did you survive that? It's keeping that positive mindset, mm -hmm. which is very hard to do because mm -hmm. you want to sit in a corner and cry yeah. <laughs> there's lots of times as a stylist and I'm sure like, you never did right sure, absolutely yeah, not yeah, um, you, you know those 30 haircuts a day and your the clients are complaining about wait times and you know yeah. of course it's our fault because right. we don't have any staff so being positive throughout that and just cheering on the two girls that I had like mm -hmm. hey we will get through this it's gonna get better are they still here they're still here oh who are they uh, Renee and Kristen oh nice yep. okay awesome <laughs> yep. and Heather she was my part-timer so she okay. was, but she when I came back she was strictly one day a week nine mm -hmm. to one mm -hmm. so I, was like, I, I hope that one day was a Saturday it was a Wednesday oh my gosh <laughs> and okay. so it was okay cool I don't have to open on right. Wednesday morning yeah. okay. that's great. All right. so yeah. it helped but it was it was still a lot so yeah. Um, I actually had a girl walk in off the street, which would be Sabra, and she oh, worked at yeah. a store in Texas okay. for a couple years, and she walked in off the street, she said, my name's Sabra, I just drove here from Texas 10 minutes ago, and I need a job, and I was Lord like, have mercy. oh my gosh, it's like an angel. you're here, uh -huh. <laughs> and yeah. she's actually what started, then they started rolling in, it was like all these people started really? communicating and replying to our posts and our ads, and um, I've known Amber for a long time. She's my technical still specialist, mm -hmm. and she was actually working one station booth rent. And I told her, I was like, "Listen, girl, uh -huh. you got to get in here. You're going to be such a huge a asset to this company. You're going to do your personality's great. Make more money. Make more money. Yeah. Less stress. Have, have more fun. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And so it took me about two months to get her, but I got her, and she's here, and she loves it. She's been here almost a year. I mean, immediately when I walked in, yeah, she, you know, I could see yeah. she's happy. She's got loving it. it crushing she's got it. Got a great personality. Yeah. And I think when I think for the biggest thing for other stylists and other managers that I would give as a takeaway is when I interview, I do a little bit of a different interviewing process. Oh, please tell me. So Sport Clips has their. Um, Sport Clips has their. You By know, the way, we're in the equipment room. Everybody, room sorry. So the phone goes off. That's all it is. Um, their you know questionnaire, interview questionnaire, where you can ask certain questions and kind of fill your people out. I don't use that because I want to see if you can carry on a good conversation with me. Mm -hmm. If you can carry on a good conversation with me in an interview and not feel pressured, you're probably going to be able to have good communication skill on the floor, yeah. which for this store was crucial. I needed people who could cut hair, yes, but I needed people who were nice and mm -hmm. great customer service skills, and we're going to win those people over when they came in. Well, you're going to spend eight to ten hours a day with exactly. that person, so you want to make sure that uh, yeah. there's, a, there's a fit. That we can get along and there's yeah. a fit, and I tell them, you know, I can teach anybody to cut hair. Mm -hmm. I can put you through classes. I can bring you in the back room and use a mannequin, and we can cut hair. I don't look at their technical level as a bringing them in process. So I've got two. That That's not a go or no-go for you, right, whether they can cut hair. Yeah. They gr you're going to train them on mm -hmm. that part, Absolutely. but you can't teach kindness. You can't, you can't teach personality. You, can't. you right? can't teach hard work. You can't teach personality. And so I look for people who have, you can feel, you can feel when mm -hmm. people have that drive in them. And so that's, I have 11 fully yeah, staffed they're girls all, they're that are all awesome. here and ready yeah. to work. I mean, they're ready to take haircuts. Nobody waits. It's, they're throwing elbows to get up there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're fine. It was funny haircuts. when we were in, you're right. When we were in here, uh, recording a Facebook live video, we had, Ask for a volunteer mm -hmm. that if somebody a client came in in the middle of the video, yeah. who would take them? They were all fighting. They were all fighting. Yeah, over to, it. like I'll run, to, I'll yeah, go. Yeah. Who's quicker? Who can run faster like to the front? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we definitely don't hang out in the break room. That's that's another thing. Is they're right. They're on it. The broke room. The there's, broke there's room. It is the broke yeah. room. Yep. But they're on it, and they just they have that drive. I, I will say though, I mean, we're in the equipment room right now. You've done some really nice. You, you know, I'm huge on culture. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I love the culture and the feel of this uh, this store and especially the uh, equipment room so do me a favor and I mean those on YouTube they can see our faces I'm not gonna pan around all mm -hmm. these different things but uh, it, describe to me what you've implemented just here and how it represents the culture of your store so the biggest thing we did was our um Normally where the performance board is, we took the performance board down and put it in a different location and painted it with a chalkboard paint. Mm -hmm. and the wall. The wall, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that gave people kind of a freedom of 
creativity. Expression. Yeah, yeah. They, can, they are free to write whatever they want on this chalkboard wall, um, but we made it like the victory wall, like you called it earlier. Yeah. And um, we put quotes up there. Um, the awards that I have are up there from when I was here the first time. Mm -hmm. um, a calendar, just so we can see what's going on. Our net sale record, we like to change that, you know changing yep. that every, at least once a month we're right. changing it yeah. <laughs> and then that just gives us something to look at and anytime that I get frustrated my biggest thing is I come back here and look at it and say we did this in a year mm -hmm. you know we took this from seven thousand dollars to thirteen five in a year yeah which is insane. crazy yeah crazy it really is. it's insane and not with any extra marketing on our part you know mm -hmm. we weren't out passing out coupons we were I was in my listen 360 email and emailing those people back and you know letting them know hey new managers here or I'm back if they were my regular clients and just getting the right people in the door and yeah. now we're starting to hear oh I hear it's you know I hear it's doing better and I hear you guys are fully staffed and the wait time's down so we wanted to try it again yep. so all those people are coming back in which is huge for us the thing that I've seen I mean you've got uh, these a couple things that have photos <laughs> of your of your team I don't think, well, except they're making a goofy face in one of them, but they're not, they're not frowning in any no. of these pictures. No. And a number of these make their way onto your social media sites, Absolutely. right? So especially Instagram. Mm -hmm. I know you guys are active there. Tell me a little bit about how, what your approach is to social media and uh, can you kind of describe who owns that for your store? Mm -hmm. I kind of took over the Instagram, which is the one that I'm most familiar with yep. and have easier access to. Mm -hmm. um, and we just try to share, I try to share any pictures. So I have a picture up on this wall of one of my stylists with a little kid and they're just, the stylist is yep. laughing, the kid's laughing, and it's just, you can tell that, you know, we love when the kids come in and they yeah. can have a good time and it's not a horrible experience for them. Um, or for the or stylist. for the stylist exactly. <laughs> yeah. um, we dress up for any chance we can get to dress up. Mm -hmm. Christmas we did Christmas PJs. Um, we did Spirit Week for back to school, which was fun. We did a whole week. Every day was something different, mm -hmm. and I kind of let Amber take charge of that. So, what were what were some of the things? Um, so we had like PJ Day. We had um, Marble Monday. We had Throwback Friday, Flashback Friday. Okay, that one was fun. So yeah. we all picked like an era of time, okay. like the eighties, like the eighties or nineties yeah, or sixties right. or whatever, and just dress so, up. Some of your stylists are probably young enough where it's like yeah. early two thousand, right? Exactly. You know, <laughs> but we just um, we recently we have one stylist that's getting ready to have a baby, so we just threw her a baby shower as our pep oh, rally, cool. and so that was super fun. And we we surprised her with it. She thought that it was a pep rally, uh -huh. and she thought it was I a love meeting. That. I love she it. was off that day. We turned all the lights out. We jumped out and oh surprised. my gosh, I'm glad her water didn't I break. Know, Right? <laughs> and she just looked at us. She's like, oh, you guys. Like, she was just shocked that we did something like that for her, which yeah. I don't know why she thought we wouldn't. But <laughs> How long has she been here? She's been here two years. Okay. So she's my part-time, part-time girl. Oh, okay. yep. yeah. mm -hmm. Your Wednesday. My Wednesday Yeah, girl. the girl that gave you that, that breather that gave you needed that on Wednesdays. And then once she got used to me being here, she started opening up that schedule a little bit. Oh, and started cool. adding more hours. But she had gone through a lot of change, too. But she's been with Sport Clubs for a long time. She actually worked in a Raleigh store as well. So have a few that are familiar to the system yeah yep and then we just I like to post the pictures back here just so the girls can look at it and see you know we do have fun because we are with each other way more than we are at home and there's yeah. days oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you see them more than oh, you see yeah. your family members exactly. more than you see your cats yeah yeah more than I see my cream, blue and cream. Uh -huh. <laughs> more than I see them and we may want to scratch each other's eyes out sometimes uh -huh. but at the end of the day this is a family and we're a team and we work really well together and we get over things really fast so they'll they'll nitpick about something and I'll just stand there and I'm like guys they're like I know it's silly <laughs> what 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 per personality trait do you think helps you manage this team most efficiently like what what about you and your nature is can you point to and say this is this is kind of the secret to my success I want to say my drive okay because so you're very motivated. I'm very motivated. Yeah. Very goal oriented. Mm -hmm. My goal, I set the minute they were like, "Hey, we want you to come back to the store as manager." They laid the numbers out for me, and I said, and "I'll have that at ten thousand by December," mm -hmm. and we did it ten five by mm -hmm. December. And I said, "All right, now we're going to do this by," and I set those dates and I set reasonable. Goals. So, so you're motivated. How do you then translate that? and have your uh, team members respond to your motivational style. What, what are you doing? So when I do my um, reviews with them, in the beginning I was finding out what drives you. What, is it money, is it your kids, is it 
vacation? Is it, you know, what is it that motivates you? Are you writing this down or are you just absorbing it? I write it down. Okay. Like, yeah, just so, so you, I keep track of okay. everybody. So I write it down and I find out what motivates them. And I also find out what their love language is mm. because I think that's important. Preaching to the choir now. Right? Okay. Yeah. All so right. it's yeah. important to find out because I, if somebody likes words of affirmation, I yeah. can write on their mirror. Okay. Or, oh, let's go through this. Yeah. Okay. So it's so the, five, the five words <laughs> the five. of affirmation, uh -huh. what are they? Oh, that's pressure. I can I can feel it in you tell me and then I'll The I'll five tell you. words of affirmation. What, what what are the five love languages? Oh the five love yeah, languages. Yeah, yeah. So words of affirmation. Yes. Gifts. Gifts. Touch. Uh huh. Uh acts of service. Acts of service. Quality time. Quality time. So you take a look at those you, know, you have those five mm -hmm. and then what you have your team members tell you, me what they think what they think theirs, theirs is. is. So mm -hmm. When you find that out, say somebody's uh, a gift giver mm -hmm. and a gift receiver. Mm -hmm. Gifts is it's uh, their thing. <clears throat> and it's yeah. also my thing. <laughs> oh, and by the way, <laughs> yes, thank you for the Mountain Dew shirt um, and the Krispy Kreme donuts and the Mountain Dew. Um, so you find somebody's wired that way. How does how does your approach change? I try and implement those things in their goals. Okay. So if they are a gift giver, if they I say, all right, I want to see you try to do increase your take home by a dollar mm -hmm. a pay period and mm -hmm. start making that commission and start doing these things if so then i'm gonna you know you'll get this like a starbucks like gift a starbucks card gift something. card something small you yeah. guys can go to the dollar store and those girls will go haywire yeah, over uh -huh. it they don't care it could be a pencil it, and if, like, oh my gosh especially I love it. if they're wired exactly. to be a gift giver and gift receiver exactly. it's it's not the the quality mm -hmm. of the gift it's that you did it yeah yep. exactly the it's the recognition mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yep. and then if they like words of affirmation i write on their mirror with a you know mm -hmm. a little marker and just you know you're doing a great job or you're a rock star um we also implemented stylus of the month and cool. we don't base that on metrics in this store is it what a nomination or we what nominate and we okay. base it on the values Values, okay. heart of a champion, yep. you know, best team player. And so, it? what people will submit mm -hmm. into a cookie jar mm -hmm. or something like yep. that? They'll submit it into a little fish bowl, and then mm -hmm. at our pep rally every month, we draw out and I count. Is it a ring? Oh, okay. It's, I count most votes. All right. mm -hmm. Can they win two months in a row? They can. Oh, okay. Yep. There's no limit. All right. And I even let my assistant managers win it mm -hmm. if they if that's who they're voting for, mm -hmm. because I feel like in a lot of stores, it's well. The manager and assistant manager are supposed to do those things, so they shouldn't win. But they should right. because, yeah, they're supposed to do those things, but example. they're leading by example. Yeah. And so I think it's huge for assistants to get that recognition, yeah. too, and not be pushed off to the side. Yeah, I love that. Um, what are some things you wish you would have known that you know now, like when you started managing? Mm -hmm. Looking back, you're going, huh, If I, I wish I could figure this out earlier. Yeah. Is that maybe other managers or people that are team members are going to manage one day what is what is a, some advice that you give them definitely communication okay communication five years ago was very different for me mm -hmm. it was i was younger and well, so was it more intimidation it was factor more or intimidation what factor, okay. and it was you know if they if they're telling me that this is how it has to be done then i come in here and i'm like all right listen this is how it has to be and with that and that doesn't work People are intimidated by that. They feel like you're bullying them. They feel like you're being stern or, you know, hey guys. And now I approach it as, all right, so here's what I'm hearing. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. And I get that feedback from them because they're here 95% of the time, along with me, but they're on the floor way more than I am. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that I do, you know, paperwork wise and all of those good things. So they hear it more than I do. So for them to give me the feedback, and I kind of let them help me manage, really, because I don't want to have to be a manager that is pointing fingers or shooting on people because that's not what mm -hmm. we want, you know, and I think that's helped create the culture that we have. Mm -hmm. um, so is there, in the back of your mind, are you worried that uh, you might be raising up the next manager of another Sport Clips when one opens? Oh, or? I hope so. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. Oh, I want them to grow. Yeah. I want, they're like, I love seeing them succeed. And it just, it brings me so much joy to watch them grow and flourish. And when they hit their goals, they're like running back here. They're like, I just sold mm. this and it was a hundred dollar ticket. And they're, you wow. know, they're so yeah. excited yeah. about it. And that, I love that because it's, it's uplifting them to do I, more I, in their industry. You know, for me, I felt like, I've obviously, I've sat down with a, a few managers mm -hmm. um, and some are worried about if they grow the store or have team members grow up on that they'll come after their job you yeah. know 
instead of your approach mm -hmm. that well I hope they eventually get yeah. another store yeah, or something like that it. I mean for you it's got to be great like you don't I bet the stress levels a lot lower now for the sure. fact even though you're making you know your stores doing more and mm -hmm. you have more and more clients and all that kind of stuff but the fact that you have built such a great team yeah. around you it's not it uh, takes the stress away when yeah, you have a team like that yeah. and they all chip in and it's you know I have had to go to other stores and help because our market's so big and mm -hmm. go to other stores and help and I say I can send a message in our app we use the crew app I can send yeah. a message in there and say guys they need me for 10 days so oh. and they just they've got the schedule figured out they've got it covered and they're like okay we'll see you when you get back oh, oh my gosh it's Fantastic. like relief off your shoulders yeah. when they can come together as a team and do that and it's it is rare to find that many people that can work that well together and I'm very fortunate to have that for sure yeah they uh, you got a great team mm -hmm. um, one thing we, we skipped over so we'll 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 finish with this, and then I got some just fun questions. Okay. Um, the modern salon. Mm -hmm. We didn't talk about that. <laughs> uh, so it was Father's Day, and uh, did now the modern salon the magazine. It's a magazine, right? Yes. It's online and also. Yes. Online did they, and, um, and paper. Yeah, paper. Did they did they um, put out a contest, or did you guys? Just self nominate. What what happened? So we North Carolina put out a contest. Okay, so actually. all the sport clips in North, North Carolina, Carolina. We're gonna dress up for Father's Day. Okay, so uh -huh. we came together and came up with um, any dad can be a sport clips dad, mm -hmm. and we all dressed up as different dads. Mm -hmm. So like I was a cat dad, of course. Yeah, right. And I had a shirt that said yeah. "Best Cat Dad Ever," <laughs> and had little stuff. She cats. is that crazy cat. I'm lady. the crazy She's cat lady. Cool. <laughs> and so then, but everybody picked some type of dad: jock dad, a hippie dad, a you know the farmer dad whatever yeah. and we all dressed up and we had we took a picture to I submit love that it all for the North dads Carolina. have hats on it yeah. like I think all but maybe one all but hats one on. has yeah. hats on uh -huh. we had like the nerdy dad and everything mm -hmm. so we submitted it for North Carolina because we were trying to take our they have a trophy yeah. that they do that we can win a bragging rights trophy and Hickory, Hickory was the reigning okay yeah, uh -huh. so we're coming for them mm -hmm. to take that trophy yeah. away by the way I'm going to Hickory right after this <laughs> oh, okay. so I'll, you know, I'll let them know let that them know we're coming go. for it <laughs> And then Amber actually posted it on her Instagram. Okay. Said some, she had some cute quote underneath it and, you know, all the hashtags. Yeah. And Modern Salon reached out to her, called her at the store here and asked to speak to me and said they wanted to showcase our picture in your best day at work. And, and it was just amazing. Here's why I love that story. Because our local Instagram and Facebook pages and the culture in the stores is so important mm -hmm. for showing how fun it is to work here yeah. and uh, you know knock on wood you've got 11 team members mm -hmm. you're doing great mm -hmm. but you used to be at three three so <laughs> something had to change to get you from three to 11 exactly. and so it was left those little things those tweaks right there they make a huge difference they really do especially in recruiting and mm -hmm. keeping your team members I mean once the word got out that mm -hmm. you were a good manager mm -hmm. that it was fun to work here yep. Saber showed up yep. and you know Sabre, brought all the good. I don't know what happened. Good, She's yeah, brought all the exactly. people. Exactly. <laughs> um, so uh, that's why I really, you, you know me, I believe in the power of social media. Yeah. If I can legally change my name to social media, yeah, I would. You would. <laughs> uh, but the fact that you, that is, I think, just a microcosm of what yeah. you're doing right here, yeah. and why we already talked about this uh, earlier today, but not on air why I took a red eye to Charlotte, North Carolina and drove, drove all the way to hours. Asheville, which by the way is in Western North Carolina, um, because I had to get to this store because you guys are, are doing such a phenomenal job. And it's so, so fun. And, and Sport Clips as a brand is a good company to work for and they mm -hmm. care about their people. And I think that, you know, once the girls see that, they're like, oh, yeah, this does exist. It's I mean, not like other places. The Wayne McGlone Memorial Absolutely. Fund. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever had anybody here that's uh, that's been a recipient of that. In our market, we have, but not in the yeah, not our sources. Just just the fact that you know all the all the charitable mm -hmm. stuff, the Help the Hero, yeah. um, St. Baldrick's, mm -hmm. which right now we're recording this in September, Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, mm -hmm. American Red Cross stuff, which is we're actually really right big now. here yeah. in uh, in North Carolina. And we uh, even did free haircuts for. Um, students a church we partnered mm. up with a church yeah. last month and amber and kristen went out and they did haircuts for students whose families couldn't afford oh, haircuts that's awesome and so it was a huge turnout they want us back next year but we went and set up the tent and they, the girls went out there and cut some hair and it's marketing it's i mean marketing. i bet they showed up in sport clips yep. you know Absolutely. gear and all that yep. kind of stuff they just, so they talked about the brand while they were out yep. there but they you know they 
they met a lot of good stories too. You know, I, th I think that's so important. Like the Ages Aviation, I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys have had one of those out here yet, but the, what we're trying to provide at Sport Clips is a great work life balance. Yeah. I mean, it was a little wonky for you coming rough, back okay. and then, you know, <laughs> not having only, only having three, but now hopefully. Uh, with 11 team members and, and people doing like your stylist doing uh, the thing at the church and that's what we're trying to provide this yeah. well-rounded approach to yes you have a job but mm -hmm. you have a life as well absolutely you can enjoy and they both. All, yeah and we have and it's been great to be able to balance both of those for sure well listen we got to wrap this up because at some point you got to cut hair today um, <laughs> And, but I, uh, I've got 10, these are just 10 fun questions I yeah. like to end the podcast with, okay? Um, so all the pressure's off. By the way, you did a great job. Thanks. Thank you for, uh, for, for <laughs> walking for me through me. all this stuff. Uh, like, so the first question I'm going to ask is, which superpower would you most like to have? Mm, that's a tough one. I would probably, I want to say mind reading, but then I'm scared of that. Okay. <laughs> but that's the one I would probably go with. Okay, boy. <laughs> Being able to read like, what your client's mm, thinking yeah, about while you're exactly. cutting their hair. <laughs> well, you know what? I think once he's in your chair, he's yeah, just filling he's just, his guts anyway. Right, so absolutely. I think you're kind of already there. Uh, number two, what is your personal motto? Personal motto is, I mean, we really, to just give it all you got. Okay. Yeah. And don't give up when it gets hard. Because it'll get hard. <laughs> Yeah, you live long enough, yeah, the life exactly, will be hard. Yep. Uh, other than where you live now, which is one of the best places in the country, so pretty. where else in the world would you most like to live? Oh, Ireland. Ireland? Oh, did you love it? I, I absolutely oh loved gosh, it. In fact, okay, back. breaking news, i got to <laughs> step out of these questions. So we got back from Ireland. Uh -huh. uh, by the way, my wife's almost 100% Irish. Yeah. She's Irish-Norwegian. So... Uh, the Jordan, we, when we were traveling, Jordans are, there's Jordans in Ireland, like in these places uh -huh. that we went. So we're like, okay, when we get home, I got to do Ancestry.com yeah. or something like that. Today, this morning, the I got my results back. back. How much Irish? And are you ready? We're ready. Let's hear them. 2% Irish. Yeah. <laughs> and it is like 97% British. <laughs> so anyways, that's where the Jordans are from, if you guys are wondering. Uh, but yeah, Ireland, I completely oh, agree. It looks beautiful. Uh, we want to go every year. Yeah. I don't know if that's possible, but I am, be you know, I'm begging Gordon yeah. to open up a uh, store mean, in Ireland. I'm down. So I said, we, go, <laughs> we have to go do a, you yeah. know, exploration. Okay. Um, which words or phrases do you most overuse? What do you mean? That's what I said. I, I, no, that's I was, was going <laughs> to right, repeat just for, for a fact. But yeah, mean? what do you mean? Okay. <laughs> I, you, haven't done, you haven't done that too much. <laughs> What sound or noise do you love? Do I love the ocean? Mm. And you live in the mountains of North Carolina. But I grew up at the ocean. Okay, that's yeah. true, from Florida. <laughs> what sound or noise do you hate? Oh, um, that's tough. There's a lot of sound or noise. Just pick one. Like we only got a, it's a half hour podcast. <laughs> um, definitely, like, basketball shoes. I like squeak. Oh, eek, eek, yep. eek, eek. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. Yeah, you got to watch a game on mute. mute. Huh? Okay. Uh, these next three questions are kind of all similar. Uh, when they make the movie based on the story of your life, what actress is going to play you? I mean, I would like Jennifer Aniston. To okay. Go for it. Yeah. Heck yeah. Jennifer Aniston? Heck yeah. Let's do it. Okay. That second question, kind of related. What is the title of the movie? What do we have to call it? And Crazy Cat Lady, Lady's probably off the table. Off the table, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, I would call it Tougher. Tougher? Yeah. I like it. Last question with that, and then one final question. So, um, in the movie, it's going to have a soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Which band or artist is going to be on that soundtrack? Oh, that's tough. Hmm. I mean, is it Bon Jovi? I mean, it is could it be bon Jovi. in sync? Is it, could it... Be, it could be Tom Petty. Tom Petty? Okay. Yeah, let's do his it soundtrack. couldn't be anymore, but we could compile his stuff. We can compile his stuff. Okay, got yeah. it. All right. Last question. If heaven indeed exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? I would like to hear him say, You did it. You Hey, you've done it so far. Yeah. Um, from, you know, sitting down, I found out so much more about your story 
about what it takes to succeed, how you bounce back from owning your own salon mm -hmm. and finding that wasn't the way. Thank, you know, thank goodness you made that that experience, you had that experience early on in really? life, right? Yeah, and sure. it wasn't like a dream of yours to one day yeah. have it and in your 50s. It. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so, <laughs> uh, so yeah, you, you definitely have done it. And uh, what you've done with the store, this team's amazing, of course. Uh, we love your team leaders, but uh, but you are the backbone of the store. And um, and I uh, am so excited to be here. You guys got the, the first got official the Scissor Pose we shirts. And uh, you already had the passion, do it with yeah. passion shirts. That's how much you believe <laughs> in this stuff. So uh, so very proud of you. Thank you, Thank you. Uh, Rosalie, for this time. And uh, who knows? I mean, keep setting these sales records. I'll just have to come back. We're going to keep so doing it. <laughs> we'll make it happen. Hey, that's all we got time for this week. Uh, tune in next week for another episode. Thanks so much. All right. Great job. Thanks. That was awesome. Yeah, you're a natural. Yeah.